Let's head to San Antonio, Texas, and Jimmy, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Jimmy, you're on the air. Uh, good day, Dr. Wallach. Um, I'm calling on behalf of my mother. Uh, she's okay. 25. Uh, she's a height of 5'5", five, five, weight 235. 235? 235, correct. Mm-hmm. And the illnesses I have here is uh, she's just been diagnosed maybe about two months ago, uh, two centimeter, two two centimeter liver tumors. Uh, she has cirrhosis of the liver, and right now the doctors are suggesting a alternative treatment of radiofrequency ablation procedure to remove the. Okay, tumor. now these tumors are they benign fatty tumors, which are actually quite common in the liver, or are they cancer? Uh, they haven't classified it as cancer yet. They just they haven't, um, I guess, diagnosed it yet as cancer. Yeah, it's not unusual when somebody's overweight that they're going to have kind of fatty tumors in the liver. It kind of goes with the territory. And so, um, of course, liver cirrhosis is actually due to a nutritional deficiency of the liver. It could be multiple nutritional deficiencies of the liver can result in liver cirrhosis. Ninety-five percent of the people who get liver cirrhosis don't even drink alcohol. Although doctors, that's the first thing they're going to ask you is, where are you getting your alcohol? Well, that's only 5% of the cases. Ninety-five percent of people get liver cirrhosis because of nutritional deficiencies. Then... Um, let's see, does your mom have anything like diabetes or high blood pressure? Uh, yes, I have a list uh, here. I have Parkinson's and arthritis, chronic back pain and joints in the legs, uh, the fibromyalgia, which has been um, a diabetic for over 20 years, type 2 diabetic, and high blood pressure and high cholesterol as well. Okay, well, here we go. Got your pen out. Yep, we sir. need to stop the ongoing damage. So the first thing that needs to happen is, she needs to get rid of all the bad stuff. Obviously, no sugar. She's a diabetic. No sugar in any way, shape, or form. That means no juices, no fruit, no agave syrup, maple syrup, corn syrup, no alcohol, uh, no uh, honey, no molasses, absolutely no fried foods in any kind. I mean no fried foods, no exceptions. I don't care if it's extra, extra virgin, virgin olive oil or coconut oil and stir-frying organic vegetables. Can't have it. Then no oils, no margins, mayonnaise, salad dressings, cooking oils, sheets, canned fish. you got to be packed in water, mustard, tomato sauce, not oils. I'd also have her take, um, let's see here, I said no fried foods, no processed meats. Oh, she needs to get rid of all gluten, no wheat, barley, rye, oats, no wheat, barley, rye, oats. I want her on vegetables and eggs, just vegetables and eggs. Then the supplement program is going to cover all these problems. And, of course, uh, if it turns out that... Um, uh, these things are uh, cancerous, which is a very low probability, uh, uh, then I need to know that. But in the meantime, we're going to assume for the moment, since the doctors weren't too excited, uh, whether it was on CAT scan, ultrasound, or however they diagnose these bumps in her liver, that they're benign. Otherwise, they would have been excited to get her under chemotherapy immediately. So let's see how that goes. But anyway, right now, let's give her uh, 235. I'd give her two healthy start packs per month. That's one ounce of the Osteo FX Plus at breakfast and dinner, two scoops of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine Nutri Crystals at breakfast and dinner, three of the EFA Pluses at breakfast and dinner, and we we'll also have her, well, we've got about 14 other things to do here, so hang on, we'll be back, we'll give her the rest of this information after these messages. Okay, Doug, let's go right back to Texas and Jimmy. Okay, again, uh, three healthy start packs, or excuse me, two healthy start packs per month, three of the uh, selenium three times a day, three of the de-stress capsules three times a day, three of the ultimate daily tablets three times a day, three of the sweet ease three times a day. Be sure your mom takes her fasting blood sugar every morning before she medicates herself because she will um, uh, have her blood sugar dropping very rapidly so we don't want her to get in trouble with too low blood sugar. And then for the fibromyalgia and the arthritis and the back problems and all that kind of stuff, I wanted her to have the glucogel. I wanted her to have 15 glucogel capsules a day. Um, five at breakfast, five at lunch, five at dinner. That's two to the large, 240 count bottles per month. And then call me every couple of weeks. Uh, you're going to be amazed. Uh, with these nutrients, this can support and promote a healthy um, uh, recovery of the liver, support and promote healthy maintenance and repair of the liver, high blood pressure, diabetes. Uh, all of these things you're describing are nutritional deficiency diseases. And um, at 5'5", five, five, I'd like to see her weigh like 140, so maybe she needs to lose 100 pounds. But let's get her going here. Let's get everything stabilized. Let's get her off her blood pressure medication. Let's get her off of her 
diabetes medication, and then we'll talk about seriously reducing her weight. Now, this will begin. She'll begin to lose some weight, maybe even a quarter of a pound a day, uh, but uh, we're going to get her down faster, but she's got to first wean off of her uh, sweeties, excuse me, not her sweeties, but her, her um, diabetes medication. She's got to wean off of her high blood pressure medication. Then we'll get her on the serious weight loss program. 